theme running through all the videos we've done so far is that parasites and toxicity account for a large percentage of human disease. In this video, I'd like to look at that further. If you look at the top causes of death for men and women in all age groups, heart attacks, stroke, Alzheimer's, lung disease, and lung cancers are the top killers. But when you break the data down into age groups, new details emerge. In the 0 to 14 age bracket, the top two causes of death are birth defects and low birth weight. They account for most deaths. Well, parasites are known to cause both birth defects and low birth weight. Chemical and metal toxins are also known to cause birth defects and low birth weight. So, is it possible that the top causes of death for 0 to 14 are parasites and toxicity? Now let's take a look at the 15 to 34 age bracket. The top causes of death are car crashes, drug overdoses, suicide, homicide, and other injuries. If you consider that both car crashes and other injuries can be caused by poor judgment, well, that's psychological. Certainly, suicide, homicide, and drug overdoses are psychological. What's causing all of these psychological problems? Why are one out of six Americans on psych meds? Well, we know that the brain parasite Toxoplasma gondii is associated with increased risk of car crashes, suicide, and homicide. And we also know that chemical and metal toxins are associated with psychological issues. Is it possible that parasites, metal, and chemical toxins are responsible for the top causes of death in this age bracket as well? Moving into the 35 to 44 year age bracket, breast cancer becomes a risk for women and heart attacks for men. Well, we know that the parasite chaga, in addition to causing birth defects, can also cause heart attacks. And we know that liver flukes, a parasite in the liver that you can get from eating undercooked fish, is associated with cancer. So here we are again, parasites and toxicity. All right. How about from 45 to 54? In the 45 to 54 year age bracket, lung cancer and liver disease appear. Well, the liver is responsible for dealing with toxins, so could that be toxicity? How about lung cancer? Well, lung cancer is heavily associated with smoking cigarettes. But why do we smoke cigarettes? Well, what's in a cigarette? Thousands of chemicals, but the main ones I think would be tar and nicotine. Tar is part of what causes the cancer. It's the toxin. What about the nicotine? Nicotine is very bitter and, as a matter of fact, a very powerful antiparasitic. Tobacco leaves have been used as antiparasitics for generations. Is it possible that people are addicted to cigarettes because the nicotine helps them deal with their parasitic load? But then over time, the tars from the cigarette give them lung cancer. Are we back to parasites and toxicity again? In the 55 to 64 year age bracket, heart attacks begin appearing for women as well. Why are they getting heart attacks now, whereas before they weren't? When a woman menstruates, she loses iron. When she reaches menopause and the menstruation stops, her iron levels are the same as a man's and so her heart attack risk is the same. It's excess iron that's responsible for certain heart attacks. So, there we are. Metal toxicity. Back to toxicity again. In the 75 and up age bracket, Alzheimer's begins to appear in both sexes. Well, what's causing Alzheimer's? We know that it's associated with toxicity, specifically aluminum, but now we also know it's associated with Wait for it. Parasites. That's right. Toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasma gondii parasites in the brain are now associated with Alzheimer's. So, as we go from cradle to grave, what are we seeing causing disease? Is it possible that most deaths are being caused by toxicity and parasites? You be the judge.